the gyro gets like one or two items. Same thing from that axe as we saw previously. As I was gonna say, it feels a little bit like a a four, uh, not like more reactionary coming out from wind strike, except for the fact that that doom got picked fairly later on. So yeah, and I'm, are they switching up roles? I don't know. I, they, I think they are. Looks like Yamich is playing the core Phoenix, and Cheshire Cat's playing support Tusk. So okay. it's going to be an offlane Phoenix, at least from itemization, right? The Bracer being picked up on Yamich too, and Cheshire Cat going boots first. So yeah, just switching the roles up a little bit. I like this a bit better. I think this makes a little bit more sense in yep. my mind, but I still am a bit concerned. Like I said, you know, we have a Doom. You've got a Doom target. Public enemy number one is going to be the Faceless Void. And you got to get those jumps early here. Oop, Duracho. Yeah. He walks in, so they know that there's a ward in one of the two spots now. It's either on that low ground or on the high ground since he does get hit from tower. Pantaman's trying to do a little bit more scouting yeah. here, too. Some, some recon for sure coming in. And yeah, they're going to be able to get that D word. Iceberg, is he going to go for the deny of the D word? Ooh. Oh, they double hit it. <laughs> Nicely done, one strike. So yeah, uh, the Phoenix, the, making it a core. Bit interesting, we don't see that too often. Uh, Io Gyro is actually quite good versus it. Overcharge with two targets hitting it, even if they're Fire Spirit. Or, you know, the Overcharge is counteracts Fire spirits, um, spirits almost entirely. 110 bonus attack speed later on when we do see those eggs coming out. Why Lots of burn, but... Why do you think they picked it up so early, though? I guess, were they going to try to flex it a little bit more? Were they trying to confuse people? Uh it's a hero they love, right? It was yeah. banned in the first two, I believe, in the previous game, right. if I'm not mistaken. So I think it's just something they're very comfortable with, and they want to make sure that he gets those levels so that he can enable the void. So it's not just a Snapfire ult that can, you know, be thrown inside of that Chronosphere. Mm -hmm. They do want to have Yamich yep. off to a good start. We'll see how it ends up going. This time, Ramses, he doesn't have the benefit of the heals from a Warlock behind him. They won't have the benefit of these crazy Fatal Bonds and Veil that we did see Kevin Purge highlight in the last series. But... We did see how much damage Ramses was able to do anyway. Just that crazy Vanguard Manta build. And yeah, let's see how mid goes. I'm just, it's, I, I'm, I'm mostly just going to be looking at mid. I think it's everything really for the side of Windstrike. Just how well Rebel is able to do. If he's able to shut down Iceberg, otherwise Iceberg is just going to devour. I mean, this is kind of how it's supposed to play out in the beginning anyways. Doom kind of struggling just a little bit, but he's eventually going to become very strong and these rotations are going to be so incredibly important. Make sure he gets those stickies off. He's already got eight. Stick charges for himself, too. Yeah, there's a lane where Rebel has to kind of get the kills. Otherwise, he will fall behind in last hits as well. I... This is the situation we're also going to... Are we going to see people rotate to secure runes here for Rebel, too? Especially for those action runes. Yeah, I think Cheshire Cat with the boots absolutely should. They should be able to double check them. It should be a lot harder for Iceberg to get the help. But I mean, I say that the Roger actually can check pretty nicely, either with the creep or himself, Io. Always want to fly. Probably going to be able to move around too. And we see Creep Equilibrium being moved around a little bit here. Phoenix keeping the wave behind his Tier 1 and Tier 2. We see Gyro doing the same thing. V2 actually doing a better job of holding the wave though. He powered denies a little bit harder. Five denies. Now he's going to have this secondary wave. Holding it just a little bit longer. But also kind of pushing it forward since the Phoenix wave is also pushing. He wants to be able to make sure they meet. And Pontiman is having a difficult time dealing with Roger. They did manage to go and block up the camp. Cookie hop forward. Do they have the damage, though, is the real question. It's looking pretty good here. One more hit should be able to do the it. trick, and Duraccio will get the first blood. Gets a courier with that Centaur Conqueror. But a nice kill. Yeah, Blightstone and the Shredder. So strong. Enchantress, very low armor when you get hit by all that. A little bit of a misstep there from Roger. He gets punished. But Duraccio still is going to be suffering a little bit on the wave versus Ramses. I think the the more important... Oh, they've oh, managed to get okay. Vitoon's Courier while this is going on. Middle tower is under Look at the last hits already, though. Bat's losing mid pretty hard. Something you can't have happen. The bat has to have a good time, good start in mid. Or have stacks, at least, to rely on to enable himself to get that fast early timing so he can make the quicker moves around the map so he can pressure the map better than the Doom. I imagine that we're going to start seeing, you know, some stacking going on for him. It would be... Kind of absurd to not see it. I think the Cheshire Cat should definitely look to be stacking. Like, pull the wave behind and then stack the hard camp over and over again. We've seen people do that a lot for the bat, so you can get good boots or travel timing, so you can pressure the side lanes. Right. Are you at all concerned? Uh, taking a look over at the CS currently on this yes. axe, he's having himself a very nice time here in this lane. Not Ever. really getting interrupted, and, and Ramses is really the person that you want to be putting that pressure down on. Yeah, he's getting full free farm. Gyro is also getting full free farm with zero pressure as, all, as well. Definitely a concern. Hmm. I feel like Windstrike has to have lanes kind of go well. They're still There's trying bottom. to make some plays though over here on Ramses. And 
do manage to get some of that armor removed here, thanks to that little shredder. But you can see Duracho, he just wants to hit creeps. Ramses has the creeps just following him here too, so definitely getting the better end of this. Canceling out that south, but... Mid lane, oh, Iceberg finds the purge creep. So he can now dispel those stickies off of himself constantly. So now he's actually at no threat of dying, ever, in this lane, unless he makes some like big mistake. Yeah, there you go, boom. No more sticky for you, Rebel. Oh, that is kind of just a hard counter, actually, to the bat. That's a uh, big feels bad man for Rebel. Yep, and it's it's a bit of an expensive spell, sure, 120, but look at the stick charges. You know, he's got yeah. the wands of plenty. He's going to be constantly getting these runes with the bottle, too, and yeah, Mitch is forced away from the wave. They're not able to apply any pressure really onto the gyro. He's missing a couple last hits, but that's because he's dragging some creep waves. He does as a secondary wave coming soon too. Just protecting the couriers over here. I don't want them to run directly into Ramses and let and him get stuff. They they can't they can't block the, the hard camp anymore. The way that Ramses is playing with Roger, they're just completely dominating the lane. So now they're just constantly under pressure. This Hellbear Smasher is gonna be hitting them with plus thirty damage. Look that's at the he has no low. time walk. They're just Slowly clicking him down. The cookie app coming out from Pantaman does buy a little time. We'll protect Raccio, but the towers that on Ramses. Feels so bad. Ramses. I don't think. Oh. 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 That was very close on Raccio. Does have himself a wand, luckily. But yeah, the the power and the strength coming out here in this bottom lane against this faceless void and and the snapfire is. And look at this, they're keeping him under the tower. Hard camp is available again for Roger when he backs up. Ramses has the Vanguard. Uh-oh. This, this is, is looking spooky now. Yeah, and they're going to be able to keep applying that pressure onto Duraccio under tower while top, they keep forcing Yamich away. What, and, what has Chester Cat been doing, I guess is my question, because he's not able to... He's just pulled waves. That's all I've seen so far. He's literally just been pulling waves for his Phoenix to get levels. Because I don't think that they can really put too much pressure on this lane. Like, if you do commit to kill somebody, you're committing to kill the Io. But then Gyro can just turn and potentially kill one or two heroes. He's making the move bottom. I think this is the right move. Maybe a bit too late, though, as Ramses, he's got Vanguard. They can't kill him, though. They can definitely look to set up a kill onto him. But They need to. He's already so big, and he's gotten a little bit away. Do they have the that cookie? Follow up with the... Yeah, they've got oh a cookie. Oh, my God, but Cheshire Cat. Cheshire Cat's sitting so low with that battle hunger on him, Pantaman. Trying to get off a couple more hits here, Draccio. But look at this. Okay, they do get some bashes off. Look at his HP regen, though. With the Seder Tormentor as well, he's at 20.4 HP per second. And Void misses 2 CS under tower trying to help and his team. And you've teammates. rotated. You've rotated another hero down here, and you <laughs> haven't managed to do anything. Like, poor Pantamon. Look at him. He's just a geriatric old lady on a lizard just trying to live her life. And Ramses and is just... Interrupting all of that. And now they're, they're probably calling for Rebel. They're like, Bat, you need to come to help us with this axe. He's getting out of control. But he's probably also like, yeah, I'm losing mid, though. Yeah. Iceberg with this purge creep just dominated the matchup. And you see he has 45 last hits. Let's look at net worth, how much worse it really is. The Doom is going to be so far ahead of he's the Bat. So he's almost double the Bat Rider's net worth right at this point. All right. Well, cookie hop forward. They don't need to use the lasso, luckily, here. So they're just going to burn Ramses down. But... Middle lane too, Cheshire Cat taking a lot of damage here from Iceberg, and he's so tanky. Snowball coming in hot here. Buys a bit more time, go right back to the wave, but these lanes are starting to get out of control. They are, and they've, and they've got stacks already. Looking at the Ancients and the Hard Camp, Roger's been doing that this whole time too, so 3k gold advantage that's going to be enabled even more. Iceberg just constantly devouring. This oh, game feels Pantamon. like it's going to be quite a big disaster. As, oh, oh, he doesn't oh, even make it over. Land. Yeah, that's the clap. Uh oh. Yeah, things are going from bad to worse here for Windstrike. How do they? How do you make a play here? So you had the rotation from Rebel, right? Mm -hmm. He was able to go slow down the axe. Do we need to see him try to make a rotation to the top lane, or how do you alleviate this pressure? Because they want to slow down the stacks. They're scanning in the area. They have a ward around there too. They're gonna try, but he's still pretty healthy. Tracha just trying to trade a couple hits here with Roger. Roger, of course, having those sprites. They will be able to go and perhaps... Oh, good call here from call Ramses. Off. Buys a bit more time and is getting some nice spins here. Chester? Do they have enough damage? Oh, he doesn't manage to quite get the dunk off. Ramses ticking down here. Doom is going to come out over here onto Rebel. And they still haven't managed to kill Ramses. Dead. They're going to turn right back around. They're going to get the kill over on the map. They should be able to get the kill on Cheshire Cat. This is a disaster for Windstrike. Iceberg just comes over with Purge Creep, dispels the sticky staffs off for Ramses. They turn and... I think this game might end very abruptly as Windstrike. They're going to have to start doing some crazy combos with the like Chrono and with Egg. It has to be perfect. Same thing with Snapfire. They have to get some high priority kills. But look at all the stacks. 
there's just stacks of plenty. I don't think we've seen any stacks getting made over on the side of Windstrike either during this time. Yeah, nope. they've all been to the side of Navi. That, that's a big blunder. I mean, Cheshire Cat, his early game was just pulling creep waves. He didn't. I can't believe he didn't stack a single cap like camp to enable Rebel. I, I, maybe he felt like he couldn't walk that far away. Perhaps like he needed to just be in the vicinity for a save. Because, like you said, you know. It's a, it's a fairly strong lane against this Phoenix. And once you use that Icarus dive once, it's on cooldown for quite a while. But they were pulling the creeps behind the tower. Like, that's, he was already in the vicinity to stack the camps. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. This this forward position play is definitely not there from the Tusk, at least to enable his cores, what it seems like. And Void is now making the move top. So they've got Phoenix Egg. They've got the Chrono. They have to get a big kill out of it. Otherwise, this game is going to spiral even more out of control. As always, want to fly is near V-Tune for some heals. They need to get this kill. Trying to hold on to that Chronosphere, just trying to burst out all the damage as possible. Nice. And they will be able to get the kill, so that's very much needed for the side of Windstrike. Very nice. And don't even have to commit the ultis, which is really, really solid. And they're going to now be picking up a Veil on Yamich, so trying to amp up the damage, magic damage, which they do have a lot of. But you have to now you have to gank so many fronts, so does Liquid always want to fly? He's getting ready to start some stacks up. Their mid tower starting to get Siege from Roger and Iceberg. It's too much happening all at the same time. Navi's just getting way too much efficiency out of the map while Ramsey's is also stacking. It's just stacks of plenty stacks while they're also stacks pressuring. Stacks. Snowball's gonna go right back to the creep wave, but uh, Navi, they're already there. They're ready for it as they'll let Iceberg get the final hit and Rebel really can't do anything. He's gonna try here. He's got some of that damage, but again, chasing after Roger goes in for the drag. Dispels him. Dispels all those sticky. Does have a decent amount of damage coming out from that Firefly. But the rest of the team now zooping in. They want to try to find this kill. They don't have any way to cancel out this TP. Roger's oh. just allowed to teleport home. And this is a huge problem. The, the, per the Perch Creep is winning the game. Yes. <laughs> At least winning that mid lane so hard. Look at this Doom's net worth just continuing to be massive. Almost double some of the other cores on the other side. And he's bailing out his teammates too. Not being selfish whatsoever. And he has so much mana to work with. Finds a faded brooch. Goes drums. 750 mana. He can purge anybody who does get gone on from this bat. And that's another wasted lasso. And he gets away. I feel like Mid. he's got very little fear right now. Yep. Even dispels a little shredder yep. off of himself as well. No minus armor affecting that doom either. Just taking all these flame spirits right to the face. No, no worries. As Ramses is having all the space in the world. Free game for the Axe and the Doom. Gyro is getting slowed down a little bit, but that's just fine as he is getting farm now. And he is going for a very aggressive build. Look at this. Diffusal we set on the rise. Gyrocopter going for a Diffusal as well. That is the way the things are trending. A bit of pincering movement, though, coming out here from the side of Windstrike. Duracho. It is just Roger. I think he wants to hold on to that Chronosphere. Open up the time dilation, the swoop forward, the shards, and they should be able to burst down. Oh, okay. no, they go in for the Chronosphere. Nice they do manage to find it, though. They'll fall up with the Mortimer's Kisses, also with the Phoenix Egg over on the side. Nice. So they'll take down Roger, they'll take down Iceberg. Rebel hoping maybe he can close the gap here. Not going to be able to, but now they have to be careful. They've used everything in their arsenal to get this one engagement. Yep, and Ramsey is still getting the space bottom. That Sentry Ward actually paying off dividends. The one to the left of the tower right there. It did see Iceberg just running in invisible. So they get the perfect setup, perfect chrono onto him. I don't think he knew. He had no idea that they really had any vision there. As dive forward, V-Tune. Yeah, they get the call down. They have the shards. The Aya was here. They'll always want to fly. He's taking a decent amount of damage. They'll go with the Walrus Punch. They'll be able to take down Beatune. Nice. They'll take down Always Want to Fly. As now Rogers over, left by himself. He's trying, but they still have that lasso in place. So they'll drag back the Enchantress and they'll kill Roger. And they're going to get they're going the whole in one by tower. One. Yeah, Doom actually has to cancel. And the call down placed behind him hits absolutely nobody. He actually aimed it onto his own tower. Didn't hit any of the targets onto Windstrike. Big moves. They needed that so badly to have a fighting chance into this mid-game. Oh. Definitely making the right moves, like you said. Ramses, though, has not been slowed down at all. And look, still, the net worth is going in favor of this Doom. 7.2k, 7k over on Ramses. And this is, a, this is a trend that we've been seeing consistently throughout these two games, is that Navi tends to, like, Windstrike will have one person sitting closer to the top. And look at that play here, yeah. Yeah, look, Iceberg walks in under the sentry. Immediate snowball from Cheshire Cat to set it all up. Really nicely done. And all that magic damage. I'm not sure they needed the egg there. Yeah, I mean, just, he just threw it just in case. Just wanted to have a little money. Look at Vtune's call down. <laughs> throws it onto his tower. Wasn't able to turn before throwing it out. If he actually throws it behind him, you know, it probably won't save him, but they do get everybody a bit lower. So maybe it does scare them from actually pushing and getting down that tower. But yeah, Windstrike getting themselves two towers. 
getting themselves back into the game a bit here with those big ults. And I think they do need to just continue to play around those ult timings rather than looking for little pickoffs and stuff like that. Just keep looking for plays around towers with just big chronos from Duraccio. Do you start to see, like, <clears throat> does Navi decide that they want to start to get more aggressive now that they know the fact that all of these big teamfight ultis are down? Oh, so they go for their own smoke here. All right, interesting. I think they're waiting on a couple item timings. They are very close to the defusal on the gyro. Axe is about to have his manta. Doom's getting close to BKB. You know, if something comes to them, they'll take the fight, but forcing the issue too much might be a little bit of a question. Unless Iceberg gets a perfect position for the Doom to just effectively remove a hero. Well, the pressure is on now here from Windstrike as they are smoked up in the area. You see, always want to fly. Constantly tied over here to V2 and as he should. It doesn't feel like they want to hard commit. They're just kind of scoping, seeing if they can get any sort of jump, it seems. Although they're going to walk Ooh, over here. They don't could, have the vision. Be good. Snowball immediately over on. Always want to fly. They just want to give it to the nice. eye. They'll be able to do it. Now there's going to be the follow up, the call down. Nice hit back, though, with that flame break. V Tune. He needs some help, and he's not going to get it. His phantom and gets himself a double kill thanks to the Snapfire Kisses. They are really on to V Tune this game. 0 3 right now onto this gyrocopter, putting all the attention onto him. It does mean, as you said, you know, Ramses is getting the free time of his life to get his farm. But some really good pressure moves coming out from Windstrike. And that was just the one ulti. So now they will have Chronosphere available. They'll have Egg for the next one, too. And they've got good, deep, aggressive vision down. I think a lot of it, too, it comes down. Look at the way that they're playing, though. I like this. Quick. And that's one thing. I, I keep coming back to this with Windstrike, is I love the way that they play with their vision. Yes, their wards this game looking... It's looking much better than last time, for sure, with the way that they have set up this aggressive posture, at least to slow down the gyro, which is... It's working. It definitely is. I feel like they have to do this, too, because if Axe gets any sort of initiation, you see how fast they just absolutely explode. Yeah, and they're going to move into the Roche. This is all before Navi is hitting these timings. Iceberg has BKB, but walking into Chrono and Egg, this is this is a really nice heads-up move from Windstrike. Medallion, so, or Solo Crest plus the tag team does enable them to do this nice and freely. That, and they have plenty of damage to kind of dish into that Chronosphere as well, as long yep. as their positioning is good, right? Because the little Shredder... Uh, and look at this! Oh gosh, the yeah, they go that they have. immediately over here onto Doom and... Like we said, they've got the damage. Mm -hmm. Got the Sunray, they didn't even need to use the Mortimer's Kisses there. Navi now starting to crumble after a very good early start. Windstrike picking up their momentum. Mm -hmm. Ramses, he's rival. I think is uh, a little concerned though because he doesn't know where everyone else is. So they have to be careful, there's more people coming. Lasso though, the drag back immediately. As they fall forward here, they get off the egg. The call down, they should die, be able though. to take down the egg. It's a little bit too much out of position as Rebel now. Running for his life, V-Tune chasing him down. The shards buy them enough time with a cookie. With the missile. They've got some bottle and charges over onto Rebel. They're going nice. to try to keep him alive over the back line. So Duracho, he's left just high and dry here as he's trying. He gets a lot of these nice bashes in. It's going to be coming right back up again. Does not have that Chronosphere. Kisses. Rolled over onto the downside here. V-Tune, he's taking a lot of damage. He's actually going to fall. Cheshire Cat is forced to run away. Ramsey's hunting him down. Also, Rebel running from Always Want to Fly. The Sharks come out. He gets the dunk off. Rebel, though, should be able to go and teleport out. Navi strike back a little bit there. Ramsey's getting close to his Blink Dagger. And we definitely see the Diffusal being problematic for Duraccio to deal with. A couple hits and he's just out of mana so he can't time walk away. Luckily, he does have that Aegis that they were able to claim before. But yeah, they gotta watch out with these eggs. Damage, as soon as that relocate is coming in, now he dropped the egg, but they just immediately, like there's no fire spirits then. Mm -hmm. That means the gyro, gyro and the IO can just focus fire it super hard, just kill it before anything does come out of it. Yeah, see IO itemizing here for all of that magic damage like yes. we just talked about. We've got the Hood of Defiance online, and I'm sure we're gonna see that pipe very, very soon. Yeah, and continuing to get these stacks up. Double stack around the Ancients again. And their initiation is quite a lot harder on the side of Navi until they do have those blinks. So they've been stalling them. You know, they're playing that greed game, that farm game. As we see from those beautiful stacks. My god, that is a lot of stacks. He takes care of his jungle. And I mean, that's a good support player. We've yep. seen it in the past with, you know, some of these other top tier teams. It's definitely something that Puppy always does as well. Yeah. And Windstrike, yeah. Much easier Maybe forms nine. of being More able to start fights. Lane here. Oh, wow. That is actually it's pretty impressive. huge. Yeah. Ramses, I think, has been taking more of those lane creeps himself. As they have the blink. The blink is coming out for Ramses now. So now Navi can actually make plays. They have a way to actually set up while Windstrike. They had much easier access. The Batrider can just charge in, Tusk Snowball, time walk from the Void. I mean, it definitely feels like it is all about who gets the initiation on who for this next big battle. 
see Navi moving their way over here to this mid lane. Got a couple of those illusions. Yamich yeah, almost has a Lotus Orb finished on the Phoenix. That'll oh. be really oh. nice to cover versus perhaps the Doom in particular, to at least reflect the Doom if it does come out. Felt like for a minute that they were going to initiate over onto Iceberg there, but... No blink on the bat. It's, it's a little... If they can't get, like, the instant grab, if he gets BKB off, it's very likely he survives inside of any type of initiation, so they have to be a little careful till they also have an instant way to get on him, like a time walk chrono. Right, right. Like they did before, which completely caught him off guard, even though he had BKB. Windstrike going toward the invasion over here of the dire jungle. Continu you have the Lotus completed for Yamich, like we talked about. Continuing to play around their vision as mm -hmm. well. We did see Duracho. He's got his build ready. So status resist versus the Doom. He's got that SNY finished up at a pretty good timing. Doom now with, B with Blink himself. So two forms of initiation on Na'Vi. That to me is very, very scary. It, it, it's really... You've got to... I mean, on the bright side, right? Windstrike, they've got some very strong vision up. But yeah. the, the capabilities coming out from Na'Vi now for the amount of damage that they can dish out and the way they can just blow up people is frankly terrifying. Yeah, both sides do have... Good forms of counter initiation with the axe blink dagger, also with the uh, the Phoenix just being able to sit back and he can always just sunray into the whoever does get initiated on. They do have a lot of ways to counteract. Got to be a bit careful here, sitting on the low ground, and there are quite a few heroes on the side of Navi. Ooh, Windstrike, they're bringing it down here. There's a lot of vision though. Navi does have a bit of a vision advantage down here. They do see Ramses with their own ward walking away, and they will force them out of their jungle. As v he is approaching his BKB. So lots of magic dam damage coming out from Windstrike, as we said. Physical damage is actually kind of limited. So if these heroes do get their BKB off pre-Chrono, there's a high chance that the cores will not die on the side of Na'Vi. Got to get as much damage out as possible before those BKBs get popped. Yeah. That is for sure. And I mean, they have plenty of damage. I think the other thing, too, very important, is that this Phoenix Egg has to be perfect. It does. It can't be in the middle of everyone. It's such an integral part of their of their draft here. Look at these Axe Illusions. Oh, my God. Cuts like the whole wave. Nearly kills the Catapult even himself, too. Does he have the Shard yet? There we go. All right, Ramses is online. Gyrocopter about to be online. Doom is ready to fight too. Windstrike, any big items for themselves coming out up? Cheshire Cat, I guess he's gonna have his Blink Dagger in a moment if they allow him to farm. Yamich took his CS, he's 50 gold short. I'm curious as to, uh, is it just like a, a position thing or that they're they're more Ooh. comfortable on certain heroes that they chose to mix it up like this? I think that must be the case, right? It just must be, must be that Yamich is just the, the more comfortable Phoenix player, so he just they just gave it to him. It does seem a little odd that they opted this game to kind of switch things yeah. up, but. Off the mark with the jump bottom, they will waste to relocate. But the efficiency game, as we said, Navi, they farm faster. When this downtime is happening, and Windstrike's not utilizing those ultimates, you see what starts to happen from this super efficient Gyro and Doom is they're ready to battle. They've got all these big items here coming out. Everything is synergizing at the same time. No vision just oh. yet, but they're gonna see Rebel for a second here. I don't is that the target that they want? That was a question. Sure jump four from Ramses. We get those illusions, the spins, the dunk. Down will go the Bat Rider, and the rest of the side of Windstrike now feeling a little scared. Cheshire Cat hiding in the tree line. There's Pantaman. You can see Duracho. He's waiting. He's looking for that perfect Chronosphere. He's got to be fast, though, and they have to dish out enough they damage. See, they see Iceberg. They get the punch, but he gets, is, he gets the BKB off. He does, and they, they've got the little shredder, though. They've got enough damage. I think the Isle trying to keep him alive. He's not going to be able Could to do with the Essence Ring. As now Duracho looking for more opening. He is stunned up, though, in the middle of everyone. He has the Lotus Orb on him. He's going to be able to time walk away. BKB over kisses. on B2 has been popped. Those kisses getting dropped, trying to burst down. This egg is looking nice. They should be able to take down Roger. Duracho, he wants more, though. He wants to get his hands over here onto Ramses. Is he going to be able to do it, though, is the question. No, they've got the blink. Duracho still looking, hoping maybe he could have caught that Io, but the Io already tethering away over to B2. Very nice grab. Again, Vision. Vision winning these initiations. They had the blink on the Tusk as well. Missed the combo by a little bit. He was able to get the BKB off, but they caught him separated from his team quite far away. Nice hit there from Windstrike as they do have to utilize all their ults, and everyone is respawning on Navi, so it looks great, but now they do have to watch out how far they push forward. Well, Duracho's gonna bail. You saw how much damage came out of Ramses just by himself, right? Yeah. It, it, they have to be so careful with their positioning. Yeah, if he catches literally anybody, they're just dead as Iceberg. He's smoked up. Rebel. Oh, Rebel. Yeah, the immediate jump, the Doom. There is no one here that's going to be able to help, I don't think, here. As you see, they're trying to go in for the relocate. They want to make sure if he oh, can have a part of this. He just gave his life as well. 
He's gonna snowball himself for a moment, but he's... I doubt he gets out of this. No, nope. tries to play this little cute play here with the shards, but of course when you have a blink dagger, it doesn't matter. And Ramses is still on the prowl. They also do have that ward on the high ground, so he is looking for a grab. But I think, did they just spot him for a second? I think they did, yeah, their ward. Smoke did wear off for a second there, so he's able to get away on the Phoenix for a moment. Line is drawn. His whole team is going to meet the Phoenix. They don't have cool, They don't have their ults though here. They do not. The, can they do anything? Without their ults, no. And Rebel, he died now twice in a row. His timing is, his farm is just completely disappearing. Yeah. His Blink Dagger is very important also for him to get those instant grabs pre-BKB, and it's getting stalled out more and more here from these jumps and these deaths. I mean, he's been working on the, the Blink Dagger for how long now? It's been a couple so minutes. long, yeah. And he still has not been able to find the farm. He's just getting jumped on half the time. Do still have this very good, deep, aggressive ward that has not actually been checked from the side of Navi. They have the sentry, but they didn't bring a courier or anything to scout it just yet. Now I'm seeing a courier over here. Is Roger going to check it out? No chronosphere not available, but you can see there's smoke up on the side of Windstrike. Cheshire Cat leading the charge. You can see these Axe Illusions are doing a bit of scouting. They're going to just cut the wave here. So annoying. It really is, because it kind of reveals the smoke, too, because you see the lane positioning. Axe Illusion cutting bottom, Axe Illusion cutting mid. Dracho. Hunting. Walrus punch forward. They found Beatune, and there's no IO here to save him at this point. Oh, Ooh, he does get, he get it off. Oh, he preemptively started that relocate. That oh was my super God. quick. Very nicely done here. As the Dracho, this seems mad. Windstrike, they got to get something out of this fight here after using that Chronosphere. But the fights, they're so split up. Rebel over on the side. They're going to see if they can burst down over here onto Roger. It's not looking Rebel. like they're going to be able to do it. Rebel, we talked about this. He's just going to fall. Dracho now is taking so much damage with these BKBs Bashes. being popped. Looking for a bash. Does manage to get one over here onto Vito. They get the egg off as well, so they'll set up several. And the Sunray trying to do enough. Snowball comes in. They do manage to take down Vito. Pantamon, though, is just being chased down on the back lines by Ramsey's Cheshire Cat now running for his life. The call comes off, though, from Ramsey's. They'll get another dunk. And now Duracho trying to just get away, but they're so fast. Look at Iceberg. He's doing the body blocks, too. He wants Ramsey's to be able to just go grab their hands up. They even managed to go get the Doom. It does get reflected back, but they Ultra. do not care. And Ramsey says, move over, V-Tune. I'm the carry now. V-Tune, one in five. Ramsey's seven and one this game. He is getting all the freedom to be able to pop up. They're focusing the gyro so much in the fights that it does allow him to do that. And Rebel constantly just getting exploded before he can really do anything on this Batrider. Time and time again, Navi, great target prioritization in these fights. 11k gold lead now, getting out of hand. That save was so clutch coming out from Always Wanna Fly. I couldn't even yeah. see him on the screen at the time. It was and preemptive. Perfect. Another initiation, yeah. though, over here. Always Wanna Fly is getting targeted pretty hard. They do have the BKB over the bat. They're just going to try to burst down the aisle. Do you manage to get the kill on Always Wanna Fly? These long-range kisses, though, coming in hot. Can they do enough damage to Ramses in time, though? It's not looking like they can now. Cheshire Cat trying to run away. The impetus, it's doing so much. Ramses just a little bit off the mark, but they still get the kill on Cheshire Cat as they're hunting over on the back lines. They just want to get rid of Rebel here, and they're not going to be able to quite find it. Buyback coming out now from the Tusk. Can they go and interrupt anybody's teleports, though? They can't. They cannot. The chorus just trickle away, and Cheshire Cat does end up wasting that one there. A nice hard strike here coming out over on this team, but they just need more. Yeah, it's, it really just feels like it is Void versus the world. Yamich is doing some good positioning here with his shard with the Sunray out of the egg, but yeah, it just feels like this is too much for Duracho to handle. And there's no Doom, but everyone else is up. They've got Ramses. I'm, I'm nervous here, Roger. There's no Looking BKB on Rebel. Rebel. Call down over into the pit. Fesher Cat using the snowball. He's going to drag in his void. Following out over here onto Roger, and he's just caught in the middle of everything. This is looking so bad for Duracho. He's got the BKB, though. He's going to start chasing after him. They've got the Sunray. They've got the egg. Egg will pop over on the back lines. Chrono in three. They just can't get their hands on people. They're looking for the Chrono Sphere. Ramses, though, with a good call. They've got the plenty of damage. The snowball coming in hot. They want to try to take down Ramses. They realize that he is a major source of damage. He does manage to get the kill on Tetra Cat, though, before going down. Cookie Hop going Me forward, too. but they've got the BKB. Oh, there it is. There's the Chronosphere. Do they have the damage, though, is a question, Fog. It doesn't look like it. Especially not with an Io tethering up, having an Essence Ring, keeping him alive. Duracho is just going to fall. Oh, and they're going to tip him for oh, sure for that one. yeah. Because now no Chrono for two minutes. Roche is available. Ramses is dead, but it doesn't matter. They can just go into that Roche pit with every single ult down. Duracho with a big slip up there towards the end. They have to commit so much for Ramses. They chased him for so long to kill this Axe. And the Egg... Navi just reset away from it. As soon as Egg was down, they all peeled to the right side away from that Egg. 
Great fight mistake? execution. Was that a mistake for the fact of Windstrike just to keep chasing after them so far away from the egg? Yeah, I think they just they started to panic because they had, they had Chronosphere up, so Duracho maybe making the call, hey, you know, I'm gonna yeah, go yeah. for this here, but they're all dead. They'd already lost so much out of it as in Yamich. Yeah, we see that egg coming out, but yeah, everyone from Navi just perfectly disengaging with their BKBs. I think at the last second, Ooh. the spin coming out from they from Ramses is actually enough to take out Nesha Cat here. Yeah, the axe spin is no joke, as they left the cheese in the pit, by the way. Yeah, there's a spin. <laughs> yeah, they didn't pick up their cheese. And yeah, we've seen again and again over in, uh, the Diffusal Blade, right? Yes. V-Tune. Look at Duraccio. He gets his chrono. He's got a little bit of mana to work with. He actually uses most of it, but then the little bit I he hope. does have for time walk, one or two hits. He's got no mana. And yeah, there's still a cheese. Nom. The cheese is in the pit. They forgot. <laughs> the smiles. They're happy about this. They have an IO and they left the cheese in the pit. That is a very uh, unfortunate thing for Navi, but they're cruising. They really are on cruise control now at this point. Until it comes back the fatal cheese that <laughs> ends up being the linchpin, you know? No. Uh, yeah, no, they're feeling very strong here. Look at this. Yamich yeah, just forced to use the Icarus dive just to run away. Ramsey's just Cheshire on the Cat doesn't want anything to do with Ramsey's, and I can't say I blame him because this axe is a big, scary man. Now, even finding himself a nice cloak of flames to boot, making him tankier, more damage coming out from his illusions, too, and he goes for cutting and all that good stuff. Is, is the courier going to scout it out? Nope, it's just bringing the satanic, so they're going to leave the cheese. Oh, boy, this is looking like a very dead pantomime. And Rebel is just cutting creeps now behind the, near the tier three, as he doesn't really feel like he can go anywhere else on the map, Navi. Yeah, full control now. Those are some desperation plays at this point. Yeah, Duracho starting to do the spin in circles thing as the Void. I think he's accepting the fate pretty soon on this Faceless Void. I mean, what they need to get the perfect Chronosphere and they need to land every single every single, you know, spell into it, honestly. Because otherwise, and this Io, you know, always want to fly, has been in very good position the entire time. Yeah. They'll get a lasso maybe for a free kill onto Roger here. But it's Roger. But it's just Roger. And it's a lasso. It I is. mean, it's not a super high cooldown, but... Still is. They're just trying to get any type of kill, yeah. it seems like. is. I mean, they, they did do a good job of at least killing v in this game, but v still able to get decent farm, and it's the other two that really have gotten out of control on the side of Na'Vi. Is, no, the cheese again. They don't, they're just not going to get it. Please, guys. Don't look at please. it. Please. Just don't even look at it. The fondue. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I would say that getting that purge creep early, though, especially against the bat in the mid lane, yep. absolutely game winning right there. And that, they just... Is it that they just weren't sure how to... I'm trying to think which thread really just started to to get pulled, right? Because you have this axe, he's, you know, doing a decent time in the bottom lane. They were unable to really slow him down. And then all of a sudden, like, just, they left Ramses alone completely. And the, where and were the stacks? The stacks? Where was Windstrike stacks this yeah. game to enable Batrider? Like, Rebel, you know, sure, his lane went a little rough because of that perch creep, but they needed to have a thing to back him out, like, bail him out in case that happens. You always have to have it. Look at this. It's like 20-something stacks for Navi, three or four from Windstrike. Yeah, you need to be able to enable a hero like Batrider a little bit better than that if you want to have a bit of a better time. And you're seeing it reflect. Like, look at Rebel's farm, and he just keeps getting caught over and over again. Oof. Big Next. Oof, indeed. You're not going to be able to teleport out, Pentaman. They have too much damage. And it's no commits. No, no ultimates have to be used. That's just a blink and a call, so they will have the Doom available for the next few pickoffs whenever they do go for them. I still smoked up on the side of Navi. They're looking to see anything else that they could possibly grab. Obviously, Duracho would be their number one target. I and they might forward. be able to find him. Uh-oh, they to. see him. They're over there immediately. The call, the doom. This is one dead faceless void. They may call it off of that one. It's already no, so far out of control. Seconds. Yeah. 70 seconds. That's what Ramses wants to do. He's like, ooh, look he's at me. He's just running into the base. He's feeling himself Yeah, here. look at that. He's taunting them. He really yeah, is. Yeah, he is. I'm like, surprised oh. he hasn't dropped items yet. You know, he played in NA for a little while. That's true. <laughs> hey, it's SA more that drops the items, right? Uh, <laughs> or it used to be. I mean, I know an NA guy who was dropping items in another <laughs> game. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, Navi. Fast is past. <laughs> I'm liking this this uh, Ramsey's axe. I, I really think this axe in Enchantress is something that they might have to look at something in future games versus Na'Vi, because it's really enabled the both of them. Like Kyle was mentioning, they have had some games where they've struggled a bit on these two, but we're, we're definitely seeing this huge power between this. If I mean, Axe also just looking like a super strong hero when you do this build. I think he just got away with too much. He did. I think they needed some way to, to slow him down, shut him down, and, and they weren't able to find it. And then, you know, laning stage went so well for him that eventually it just 
snowballed into the, the mid-game where he was able to do whatever he want, hit whatever he want. There was still winning engagements without him, and that's the scary part. Yeah, and I mean, the one time they, they did, to be to, to be a little honest, they, they tried to go for him, but with two heroes. With the Tusk and the Bat, and then they yeah. both died as he farmed Ancients. Yeah, that was, I mean, there's been a lot of different disasters for Windstrike, at least from that early game. They had some decent shots in the mid-game, but Na'Vi taking fights in good locations too, because most of these fights that Windstrike was taking was on their side of the map, where they had to use their big ultimates, and then they look and they're like, oh my god, all our creep waves are pushed in. We have to deal with creep waves pushing, and now we can't actually get any advantage with these big ultimates rather than taking any objectives. So. Efficiency was a huge problem. And I also, yeah. you know, I know the lane was really difficult because you do have this Phoenix, like what can you really do against a, a Gyro and an Io? But, you know, I don't, I didn't feel the presence of the Tusk at all. I did not either. And we didn't see game. stacks even. Like, you know, we were talking about and we're like, oh, you know, well, Cheshire Cat, I'm sure he's making these stacks for Rabel because he's having difficulty, but he just kind of stayed top the whole time and, you know, did try to cut the waves a little bit, but I feel like he could have been more uh, present, I guess, or feel yeah. that more. No, I mean, I absolutely agree. You have to be able to, you have to stack. Like, you just, that's Dota right now. You have to have stacks at least for like one or your two things. So, Void can't farm him this game, so then mm -hmm. you have stack for your Bat Rider. But yeah, none of them there to enable Rebel. And, yeah, as we said, he's been suffering so much this game. And look at how much gold that they've gotten in comparison. Yeah. That's a void farming the neutrals and ancients, too. So, it's like, I, I, I'm sure Bat Riders are way lower if, I mean, we can't really look at comparison of that one, but. Not yet we can. Not yet we can. As now, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Bats only farmed 1,400 of those neutrals. Yeah. So. He has not been able to uh, do what he's... And these illusions are just so problematic by themselves. They can just keep doing this and just slowly starve Windstrike out of their own jungle. They can't make any moves. Yeah, they're, they're so far. Triple, it's kind of, it's a triple scaling core on Na'Vi versus a single core versus a Doom who has Refresher. So two rounds of the Dooms as well will be... And that vision game has just totally fallen apart too for the side of Windstrike. They have no vision, they have no idea where people are, whereas Navi have been able to place, you know, some nice wards really finding out a lot of information. Like, they can see now, f four of these heroes have moved their way into their jungle. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's... Based on that bottom ward. It's cruise control, really, for Navi now. They, I don't think they're really feeling any threat. They shouldn't die there. Like, even if people get caught in Chrono at this point now, they're, they're not gonna really die. I mean, maybe some of them will, but the Gyrocopter, if he gets any type of heals, anything from the aisle, he's not going to go down. And did they pick up the cheese yet? No, they did not. It's still in the pit. It's aging finally, it's aging. you know? And you can market it as the finest cheese aged in the Roshan pit for five minutes. Too bad it doesn't gain more potency. Imagine if that was a thing. If That'd you just left it there and it gained potency as you went. Hide it somewhere in the map. Certain locations would make it Little age better. Little treasure hunt. Yeah. <laughs> not in the water either, too. You know, What if the cheese was in the water? That would ruin it. Yeah, it would. That'd be really nasty cheese. Windstrike, the final guy. All right, here they're we go. They're trying for this humongous wrap around here. Oh, they're gonna go up to the high ground though. B2. Oh, he knows they're there. Down. It's a brand new ward. He's gonna run right into them. He knows how strong he is and how tanky he is. Mm, that defusal coming to play. Rebel. Jump over on the back line. So they do manage to go and grab Iceberg. So can they push him down fast? I'm over on the back lines, Ramses. But there it is. There's that egg we were talking about. He's just waiting though. Going right back in, the Doom gets placed over on the faceless Void. Ramses is just running amok over on these back lines. Gets some good spins off. It's a double kill now. Dracho does fall over here to Roger, and they're just falling apart here. Look at this Poundsman running for his life. They've already lost Yavich. There, ends it's, up, and there, this it's the GG. They they knew that the smoke was coming. Navi, they, as soon as they see the ward placed down, it's fresh ward. They get the relocate even to save the Doom instantly. Always want to fly. Clutch relocates and preemptive ones too, especially the one that we saw around the Ancient Pit. He started that relocate before they even started to jump in that Chronosphere. 